Hello everyone. Today I would like to touch upon such a mysterious and very interesting topic as Bigfoot. This mysterious creature has quite a few different names, for example, Yeti, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Chushuna, Hominid, and many others. All of them are united by one phrase, Bigfoot. On this topic, I have collected a wide variety of materials on the internet, and I hope that you will enjoy the video. And so, let's begin. The name Yeti comes from Tibetan and to this day is perceived differently. Sometimes like a rocky one, sometimes like a rocky bear. There is one more Tibetan name, and it sounds like Mesh and means man bear. Eyewitnesses describe him as a creature with a height of 180 centimeters to 3 meters in height, and his weight is about 200 kilograms or more. The body is covered with dark brown, auburn or gray hair. They also mention a strong unpleasant odor. Its tracks are large and up to 60 centimeters long. The indigenous people of the Himalayas believe that this creature is the guardian of mountain peaks or transitions to other worlds. The first mention of Bigfoot was recorded in manuscripts back in the spring of 326 BC. While crossing the Indus, Alexander the Great heard stories from local residents about a monster living in the mountains. But as it turned out, Alexander the Great, according to the English manuscript at that time, destroyed quite a few interesting and fabulous creatures. But, that's a different story. Let us refer to our electronic directory, Wikipedia. In it we will find information about the Yeti. And interestingly, the English version, contains different information in comparison with the Russian version. For example, in the English version, it is said that the Yeti is a monster creature from Himalayan folklore and allegedly in Western culture, at some time they began to call him as disgusting ugly Bigfoot or snowman, as it is more convenient for anyone. Also, this version mentions Russian folklore, in which Bigfoot was called as Chushuna, who lives in Siberia. And this is taken from the stories of the nomadic Yakut and Tungus tribes. But in the Russian version, there is absolutely no word about this. The Russian version, classifies Bigfoot with additional names, such as, Yeti, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Ange, Avdoshka, and so on and it is found in highland and forest areas. It is mentioned that his existence is asserted by many enthusiasts, but never confirmed. In our time, most scientists are skeptical about the existence of Bigfoot. And even in spite of the available hair samples, prints of traces, several dozen photographs, video recordings of not quite perfect quality, all this is questioned. It is noteworthy that interest in the Yeti in the West increased in the 1950s although the legends in the peoples have been around for about 1,000 years. One of the pioneers was Eric Shipton, who set out to conquer Everest in 1951, then, he photographed several large prints in the snow about 30 centimeters long, at an altitude of about 6,000 meters. Some argue that they, footprints, are the best evidence of the existence of the Yeti, and at the same time, skeptics argued that these are the footprints of a kind of bear. On March 19, 1954, the Daily Mail newspaper publishes an article reporting on the return of the expedition team, which obtained hair samples and the Yeti scalp itself, which were found in the Pangbosh Monastery. After the analysis, the belonging to any known animal has not been established. Slavomir Rorix, a lieutenant in the Polish army, in his book published in 1956, claimed that when he and some others crossing the Himalayas in the winter of 1940, they encountered two bipedal animals that blocked their way for several hours, although the latter did nothing much except how we moved through the snow. And at the same time, in the USSR, the Academy of Sciences showed great interest in Bigfoot, and on January 31, 1957, a meeting of the Presidium of the Academy of Sciences was held. There was only one item on the agenda, about Bigfoot. Already in 1958, a commission of the Academy of Sciences was created to study the question of the Bigfoot. The working hypothesis, which guided the commission, boiled down to a simple one, Bigfoot is a primate from a degraded branch of Neanderthals that has survived to this day. But due to strange circumstances, the organized commission was soon curtailed, although its results are used to this day. In 
Now, I will show you video footage filmed on camera and which, in my opinion, I consider to be quite convincing facts. The author of the video is Peter King from New York. He claims that his father, along with his friend while hunting, shot Bigfoot in 1953. The body parts were brought home just before Thanksgiving. The mother was horrified, believing that it was a human head. Peter's father subsequently froze body parts for decades. Peter shows big eyes that have lost their shape due to the long freezing time. Indicates teeth that are outwardly identical to human ones, and the ears are hidden behind dark thick hair. Also draws attention to the huge size of the head, comparing it with her own. This video was filmed around 2014 in Canada, British Columbia. Conquerors of peaks without climbing equipment climbed the mountains. One of the participants in the campaign noticed a moving object in the distance. At first, he assumed that this was a lost lonely person. But looking narrowly, I noticed that the object was without snowshoes and a backpack. Moving on snow without snowshoes would be quite difficult, and the distance covered in such a short period of time for an ordinary person in such conditions is almost impossible. In view of the fact that the guys were at an altitude of about 300 meters, on a steep cliff, they did not have time to go down before dark to continue observing the object. The author points out that the observed object was clearly on two legs and that it is definitely not a bear or any other known animal. The following video was filmed on March 23, 2019, according to the information, it was filmed by American climbers while climbing Peak Point Mountain in the Wasatch Mountain Range, Utah. In the footage of the video, we can see a huge figure of about two and a half to three meters in height, walking in snow and frost at a fairly considerable speed up the mountain, at an altitude of over 2.5 thousand meters. According to eyewitnesses, the observed object did not have any equipment or anything connecting it with the person who went on the campaign. It is also reported that the object was at a distance of about 10 kilometers from observers. You must admit that it does not quite look like it was a person who gathered alone for a walk in inclement weather. After all, as a rule, it is at such moments that people are lost and perish in the mountains. After a while, the unknown object, climbing up the mountain, disappeared behind a shroud of snow. The video is really impressive, it is one of the best that I have seen in recent times. This unique footage was captured in the mountains in the west of the Irkutsk region, in the national region of Tofalaria, and this is Russia. The shooting was made in the summer of 2019. On the opposite snowy peak of the mountain, a very large object is moving quite quickly. Having passed a decent distance in a matter of seconds, he dissolves against the dark background of the mountain. Some researchers argue that in the place of disappearance, there is a cave, which can be a dwelling or a transition to another world. They say that in those areas there are special places where a modern person cannot go, since there is an invisible defense that not everyone can overcome if he has not reached the proper level of knowledge and development. Стоял, снимал в горах и обнаружил снежного человека. Вон он идет по краю снега. Все спустился на бесснежную покров не видно. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.